This video is for Eurac enthusiasts who are just getting into Eurac or people who are considering buying a smaller audio mixer and are looking for examples of what you could use it for in a Eurac system. We're going to look at four examples of things that I commonly use small mixers and joysticks for. The first one is mixing free waveforms from the same oscillator. The second is vector mixing those same free oscillator waveforms from the same oscillator into a joystick combined with the free original waveforms. Another is mixing filter outputs and mixing filter outputs with a joystick. In this example we hear a two bar melodic sequence that spawns three octaves. Rather than having one output used from an oscillator we are hearing three outputs from the shapeshifter. Output 1, output 2 and the third output which is a combination of a wave folder and a VCA. As you can see the set of minimix takes three signals in and the knobs have various settings. This example I think oscillator 2 is the most important one, let us listen to that one independently by turning down the knobs of output 1 and 3, effectively muting those channels. Now let's turn input 2 down and listen to input 1. And let's turn input 1 down and listen to input 3. Now back to something similar to the first settings you've heard. In this example I've made the mixing setup a bit more complex. The outputs are still routed to the inputs of the mixer, but I've also split the audio signal out and routed them into planar, which is a vector mixer controlled by a joystick. A joystick is a great way of introducing some hands-on control in your Eurex system. I've routed output 1 to D, output 2 to C, and the fold output to B. Then I've combined all of those outputs from the mixer that you heard before and put them into input A, which you're listening to now. Now let's listen to input D. Input C. And input B. Let's use the joystick a bit and see what kind of timbers we can get out of it. Now I've taken two sine waves from Batumi into the CVY and CVX of Planar. That of course tells us that the inputs of Planar are VCAs, otherwise we cannot control the amplifier with control voltage. Here I'll move the joystick, the elevators, and change the attenuation of the CV input and mess around with the settings of the filter. I hope that helps in showing the sonic possibilities of this kind of setup. In this example, the oscillator of Mangrove outputs its form and output into the all input of the Free Sisters filter. Right now, we are listening to the sender output, so it's effectively a bandpass filter. Here, I'll show you the output of the different filters and how the parameters of the filter changes what goes in and out of the filter. I've set the cables so the highest frequencies are at the highest attenuator, and vice versa, so that the lower frequencies are at the bottom.
Here we're working on the same sound, but instead of using the mixer, I'm using the joystick again to show you how I can mix the four filter outputs. I'll also be using the parameters of the filter, the frequency control, the span, and the quality knobs. Let us listen to how that affects the sound going through our vector mixer. <laughs> 